although a cockroach may look like a simple small insect, anatomically, it is quite complex. Let's take a look at the anatomical features of a cockroach, such as the alimentary canal and the blood vascular, respiratory, excretory, nervous and reproductive systems. The alimentary canal is present in the body cavity and is divided into foregut, midgut and hindgut. The entire foregut is lined with cuticle and consists of a mouth which leads into a short tubular pharynx that continues into a narrow tubular esophagus. The esophagus opens into a large sac-like structure called a crop, which stores food. The crop is followed by a small conical gizzard or proventriculus, which grinds the food particles. The transverse section of the gizzard shows an outer thick layer of circular muscles and an inner thick layer of cuticle, which forms six chitinous teeth. At the junction of the foregut and midgut is a ring of six to eight tubules called hepatic or gastric cica, which secrete digestive juice. Similarly, at the junction of the midgut and hindgut is a ring of numerous filamentous yellow-colored malpighian tubules which function as excretory organs. The midgut is followed by the hindgut, which is broader and is divided into ilium, colon and rectum. The rectum opens to the exterior through a small aperture called the anus. The anatomical study also includes the blood vascular system. Cockroaches have an open blood vascular system with poorly developed blood vessels that open into a hemocele or open body space. The visceral organs situated in this hemocele are immersed in blood or hemolymph, which consists of colorless plasma and hemocytes. In a longitudinal section of the insect, you will see a long muscular tube lying along the mid-dorsal axis of the body. This muscular tube is the heart, which is differentiated into funnel-shaped chambers with ostea on either side. These insects also possess sinuses or cavities in their body. The hemolymph from these sinuses enters the heart through ostea and is pumped back into the sinuses anteriorly. The respiratory system also forms a part of the anatomical study of a cockroach. This system consists of a network of trachea that opens to the exterior through ten pairs of spiracles which are located on the lateral side of the body. The opening of these spiracles is regulated by sphincters. The tracheas are further divided into thin tracheoles, which supply oxygen to all the parts of the body. Gaseous exchange in these tracheoles takes place through diffusion. The anatomical study also includes the excretory system. In cockroaches, malpighian tubules situated at the junction of the midgut and hindgut serve as excretory organs. Each tubule is lined with ciliated and glandular cells which absorb nitrogenous wastes from the body and convert them into uric acid. This uric acid is then excreted through the hindgut. As cockroaches excrete uric acid, they are known as uricotelic animals. Apart from malpighian tubules, the fat body, nephrocytes, and uricose glands also help in excretion. The nervous system is also a part of the anatomical study. In the cockroach, this system consists of a series of ganglia in each segment, which is attached to a ventral nerve cord and a brain. There are three thoracic ganglia and six abdominal ganglia. In the head, the supraesophageal ganglion represents the brain, which supplies nerves to the antennae and the compound eyes. Did you know that if you cut off the head of a cockroach, 
it can survive for almost a week? Well, this is because the head holds a small part of the nervous system, while a large part of the system is present in the thorax and abdomen. Besides a well-developed nervous system, cockroaches also have many sensory organs, such as antennae, eyes, maxillary, and labial palps, and anal cerci. The head bears a pair of large compound eyes, and each eye consists of about 2,000 hexagonal omatidia. These omatidia form a mosaic vision of an object with low resolution. This vision is also known as nocturnal vision. Finally, let's learn about the reproductive system. Cockroaches are unisexual with well-developed male and female reproductive systems. The male reproductive system consists of two testes, which lie on the lateral sides of the fourth to sixth abdominal segments. From each testis arises a thin vas deferens. The two vasa deferentia run posteriorly and open into the ejaculatory duct through a seminal vesicle. The ejaculatory duct opens into the male gonopore situated below the anus. At the anterior end of the ejaculatory duct, in the 6th and 7th abdominal segments, is a mushroom-shaped accessory reproductive gland consisting of small and long tubules. The secretion from this gland nourishes sperm and helps in spermatophore formation. In cockroaches, the male gonopophysis or phalomere represents the external genitalia. These phalomeres are asymmetrical structures made up of chitin and surround the male gonopore. Sperm is stored in seminal vesicles and form spermatophores which are discharged during copulation. The female reproductive system consists of two large ovaries which lie on the lateral sides of the second to sixth abdominal segments. Each ovary consists of eight ovarian tubules or ovarioles containing beaded strings of developing ova. From each ovary arises an oviduct which joins to form a single common oviduct or vagina. The vagina opens into the genital chamber. In the sixth segment, a pair of spermatica is present, which also opens into the genital chamber. During copulation, sperm is transferred through spermatophores. After copulation, the female cockroach secretes a purse-shaped capsule called an earthica, which contains the fertilized eggs. The earthica is a dark reddish to blackish brown colored capsule which is about 8 millimeters long. The female lays about 9 to 10 earthica in cracks or crevices with high humidity and near a food source. Each earthica contains about 14 to 16 eggs. Interestingly, in Periplaneta americana, the development of the insect is porometabolous, which means that development takes place through the nymphal stage. A nymph looks quite similar to an adult, and it molds around 13 times before it turns into an adult. Though the second last nymphal stage has wing pads, only adult cockroaches have wings. We've just studied the anatomical features of a cockroach, such as the alimentary canal and the blood vascular, excretory, nervous and reproductive systems.